Hey, what's up everybody on YouTube? It's Optimus P517. Want to do a review for a product. It's called the Stealth Armor um, for the iPhone. So, the main thing, the front, I did not keep it. Actually, I took it off. As you can see, it, there's hardly any smudges already to begin with, so it's not too bad. The main thing, it's very thin, as you can see. I took it off. I had it on before. What I was tired of was a lot of smudges. Definitely a lot of smudges. It picked up a lot of grease residue, oils, and whatnot, as you can see on the back. I cannot take it, but I do set it on the back quite often. So that's why I'm leaving the back portion on. But the front, I hate cleaning it. You know, I press on it, you don't see any smudges too much. So Apple has done a great job making a glass that is pretty much residue resistant so I'm pretty happy about that so I'm going to leave that off at this point in regards to the film itself uh, it's a little harder to see hopefully you can but it does not protect the bezel piece or the antenna that, that wall so there is parts exposed that's not covered right there not better focus the buttons are exposed Top button is exposed, and of course the SIM card is exposed. Um, so the main thing, it's very thin. The Pro, that's pretty much the Pro about it. It's very thin, very stylish on the side. The pretty much most of it are cons. The, it's, it's. I highly doubt this piece is going to protect it, you know, from a drop. Um, I've used phantom skin before, and it's a little thicker, so it probably will absorb it a lot better. I'd probably recommend that, maybe even Sag Shield. The only thing I've heard about Sag Shield is it yellows out after a long period of time and whatnot. But overall, I, you know, I'm not too happy about it, not too psyched. Uh, another thing that I noticed in regards to the back of the film and f in specific is it hazes after a while. So I don't know what's the deal with it. It could be the material, it could be certain exposures and whatnot. I know I don't set the phone out in the sun. That's for guaranteed facts with me at work most of the day anyways so the main thing I'd probably rate it a you know six out of ten I wouldn't recommend it at all hope oh, there's me and you know, on the side I don't think it's gonna be fully protected even if you drop it so uh, picked him up from fusion of ideas and fusion of ideas .com. if you decide to pick it up feel free and like I said it is very thin as you can see and the back piece is actually on right now so but that's pretty much it just want to share that with you give you a little, little bit of input and insight in regards to the skin itself um, if you're looking for something I recommend some sort of a bumper uh, currently right now I'm sticking with the iPhone 4 bumper from Apple I might be looking into the Ivy skin that I've heard from uh, my seller from the iPhone 4 bumper that I purchased from um, I'm also looking at a few other things online right now, and I'm just going to have to see. Oh, also another thing I will point out, I'm not going to even bother demonstrating because you will see it on your own anyways if you do purchase it. On the video that Fusion of Ideas showed in regards to the side pieces with the antenna issues for the phone, the side pieces will not prevent that problem. I've held it before, it has the grade. The main point to it is it's a flat piece of tape it doesn't wrap around the phone so your skin still has a very very minimal point of contact to the metal band from the edge on the bottom and the edge on the top so there is still that potential to do it um, so that's the main thing it's not a guaranteed fix they mentioned it is but it isn't so definitely check it out the bumper is a guaranteed fix on it, but um, other than that, just want to share that with you. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Any questions, let me know. And I'll be doing more reviews of other things, possibly games on the iPhone for you. So, other than that, rate, comment, subscribe.